Welcome back friends. Today we're going to be doing some maintenance on my new lawnmower right here. It has about 13 hours on it and it's time to sharpen the blades. So I've been running this mower the entire spring and a lot of times there's some branches and limbs that you might hit. So I know we're definitely going to need to sharpen the blades. So what I'm going to be using is this angle grinder right here and a few other tools and we're going to get professional results. So let's get into this video and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Last summer, I installed this hoist in my garage. I made a video on it in case you haven't seen it. And we have this strap right here. It's rated for 3,333 pounds. So we're gonna put it underneath here. So this is definitely solid steel. So we're getting ready to raise the front end. So make sure you have your parking brake on and chalk the rear wheels. So you can see that's firmly in place. And then I have this crane scale right here. So I'm gonna use this to show you what the weight is. All right, here we go. Raising it up. So 238 pounds. I'm gonna be working under the mower and a couple items I have in my garage are these milk crates right here. So I'm gonna put them underneath the two front tires and lower it on to this right here. I'll still have tension on this, but also just have a little bit on that. So in case something were to happen, nothing's going to come down and fall on me. All right, so I want to show you an awesome impact wrench for getting underneath here, especially if you have some low clearance. All right, so one thing I'm working on this summer is getting my 11 drawer workbench set up right here. So I had a spare piece of Kaizen foam that I put in this drawer just to see how it works. So this right here is one of my favorites. This is the right angle impact wrench. It's a 3 8 and okay it's going to require a 15 16th size all right so i'm not sure this is going to have enough power so i put my adapter right there to go to a half inch there we go it's time to see if this has enough power if it doesn't i may upgrade to the six amp hour battery all right here we go oh yeah piece of cake oops no problem all right, here we go Oops. All right, so here we have the blades. Let me just show you a close up look at them. I don't know if you can see that. It's a pretty good ding right there. You know, it's weird. I don't remember hitting anything real hard, but you just never know. We're gonna go ahead and start sharpening them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just clean all this gunk off right here. All right, now I'll show you. This is how I prepare my blades. I just have a window washing bucket. There's probably about a gallon or so of water in there and then i have this actually got sprayed with some green spray paint kind of a little accident happened All right, then i'm just going to pour a decent amount in there this stuff really works nice all right so i think i picked up this brush in the welding section at home depot it has this nice little scraper part on the end and then the wire brush it just really works well for doing some quick heavy duty cleaning on these okay i'm gonna go hose these off all right, so check this out. I have all three blades hosed off. Everything's nice and clean. So I've had this blade balancer for a couple years now. It's about hundred bucks. It's something that looks like it's gonna last a lifetime. Definitely worth it. You really get some precision results. And when you have this S style blade, those fit there too, I believe. I haven't used this yet. Let's turn around this way. I think this is gonna get me better results. All right. So now I have the All-American Sharpener. This is model 5005 Generation 2. I'm gonna clamp this down. So we're gonna be using the Milwaukee cordless angle grinder. All right, so besides the circular saw, if I had to tell you which one of my favorite tools is to have cordless, I would say the angle grinder because I often take it out of the shop. So I'll just show you it installs on here. Ok, 
Okay, now we're ready. We're ready. Okay, so we have this clamped in there and you can just see some of the chips that I'm gonna be working out. I'm gonna start off with a 60 grit flat disc, but I might move down to the 40 grit if it doesn't take some of those chips out of there fast enough. I have it set for 30 degrees right now, so let's try this out. We're gonna take this out and flip it around. I still have a little bit more to work on there. But it's going pretty fast with that flap disc. All right, so I've only been using this a short time, and I noticed that when I put more pressure, more force down on it, it looks like I'm getting more professional looking results. So that was about 20 swipes. I believe those 20 swipes right there. That is looking good. All right, so you could use a grinding wheel instead of the flap disc right here. That'll give you more aggressive results. But I feel like as you're getting the hang of it, the flap disc is the way to go. That way you don't really gouge it up by mistake as you're learning how to use it. All right, so I think this one is balanced. I took a little bit more off on this edge right here. There, staying right in place. This one's good to go. All right, so here's the final results. So the blades right now are a lot more sharp and they're definitely balanced 100%. So I'm looking forward to putting these on and seeing what kind of cut I get. All right, the grass is really quite long, so there's a lot of buildup in there, but I'm definitely happy with the results. This right here is nice and flat. No stragglers, just a nice clean cut. Now if I wanted to get the blades a little sharper, I could switch from the 40 grit after I'm done to the 60 grit. That will give it a little bit of a fine tuning, but I just want to give it a quick sharpen not spend a lot of time on it and just see what kind of results I get and just knowing that I can do a little better. So if you're a homeowner or a lawn care pro, I definitely think that this is the way to go for sharpening your blades. If you don't have any of these tools, there is gonna be a little bit of investment, but I think it's gonna last a long time and it's gonna definitely pay off for itself and having a good angle grinder like this without a cord is gonna be helpful. So a question I have for you, if you have the All-American Sharpener and you used it and you see me doing something that I can improve upon, my technique or the uh, type of flap disc or something like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to know what your thoughts are. I've read through all the instructions, watched some of their videos, and also just trying to gain some of my own experience. But I'd like to hear what works for you guys, so let me know about that as well. So my goal this video is to help you guys out by showing you some tools and techniques for getting your blonde blades sharp. And if you want to check out some of the tools, the Milwaukee tools I use in this video, Check down below, I have some links there where you can see the specs and the price and some reviews on it. And now, if you enjoy this video and find it helpful and interesting, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. 
That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.